Hello everyone, I'm Jan Angel, your 26th District State Representative. Thank you for joining me today on Legislative Update. For the past week and a half, we've been working from early morning to very late nights and even into the wee hours of the next morning to consider hundreds of bills here on the House floor. We've now reached another important deadline in the legislature. Today is March 12th and by 5 p.m. all House bills must have passed the House or they considered dead for the season. Bills that are necessary to implement the state budget are exempt from this deadline. So that's why we have been working at a feverish pace to meet the floor cutoff schedule. I want to talk for just a moment about public safety. I am proud that Washington has a great record of first in protecting the public. We were the first in the nation to adopt a sex offender registration law and to, pro to provide indefinite civil commitment for the state's most dangerous predators. We were the first to adopt a three strikes law that puts violent criminals away for life actually without parole after committing their third serious felony. And our state cracked down with hard time for armed criminal with stiffer penalties for people who commit crimes using a gun or a knife. This year in the legislature, as the budget deficit of $8 billion has dominated the discussion, we still need to keep public safety in the forefront. The tragic kidnapping and death of 12-year-old Zena Linnett two years ago in Tacoma at the hands of a convicted sex offender who got lost in the system underscores the need for greater accountability. That's why I proposed real-time GPS monitoring of convicted level three sex offenders and those sex offenders who are homeless or have failed to register. Unfortunately, House Bill 1834 never got a hearing despite my repeated calls to the chairman of the Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness Committee where the, bull, the bill actually was referred to. In fact, the chairman never, never even returned my calls. It's extremely disappointing because this is one of the best opportunities we have to protect the public and especially children from dangerous repeat sex offenders. Predators are most effective when they operate in the secret and their whereabouts are unknown. When convicted level three sex offenders are released, many of them lack a fixed residence. There's over 1,400 out there right now that we don't even know where they are. They may be living out of their cars under a bridge or even an area that is frequented by children and not knowing where there are puts our public at great risk. GPS monitoring would be an effective tool to track those dangerous sex offenders. You know, for years, Washington has put the interest of victims ahead of criminals. That's the way it should be. But I'm very concerned that the pendulum is now swinging the other way. To save money, many prisoners, including convicted felons, are serving only 50% of their sentence. They're out on the streets, and now there's a proposal to eliminate more than 300 community corrections officers who supervise them once they've been released. That puts our community and our families and our children at risk. Another proposal that is very disturbing to me is the current laws allow voting rights of our released felons to be restored only if they have completed court requirements and have fully paid their restitution. House Bill 1517 would remove the requirement that felons pay their court-ordered restitution before their voting rights are restored. I strongly disagree with this approach because it places the interests of criminals higher than those of the victims. During floor debate, I spoke about how this bill ignores justice for the victims.
Justice to me is repayment of restitution. You know, yes, we, we all have screwed up at one time or another in some way, but you've got to pay the debt or to right the wrong for what's transpired. And justice truly is paying the debt, it's justice to the victim, and it's justice for the system that we live for. We need to hold our criminals accountable for their actions. We need to put victims and families first before felons. I want to thank you all for your phone calls, your letters, your emails to my office. Please continue to contact me anytime. My phone, 360-786-7964 and toll free, 1-800-562-6000. Mailing, P.O. Box 40600 right in here, right here in Olympia at 985-040600. Thank you for joining me on Legislative Update. And again, I'm your State Representative, Jan Angel.